everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play world. Ah, the Grove. Everything seems to be going absolutely splendid in the Grove, and I'm glad to see it. However, there is one very important issue that has been brought to my attention. This is, uh, not actually a Grove. This biome I'm standing in right now is just a forest. A Grove biome in Minecraft is the little tree areas on the side of mountains. That's not gonna stop me from calling this a Grove, though. Oh no, don't worry about that. When this was brought to my attention, I decided to Google the definition of the word grove, and it turns out that a grove is just a small group of trees. So, under that definition, I think that this classifies as a small group of trees. I've decided, just now. There are a few things we can do to spruce it up, though. I mean, literally spruce up the place. We, we need some spruce wood. Lots of it. I think this ought to be enough spruce wood. My goal for today's episode is to advance us in this world a little bit further. But in order to do that, we need to do some interdimensional travel. Specifically, I'd like for us to go to the nether so that we can access new blocks and potentially upgrade our armor if we happen to find any ancient debris. I'm honestly really excited to see what our nether looks like and also access the blocks that are in there. I really love building out of the crimson and warped logs and I think they'll look great in this grove. Now, very importantly, in order to go to the nether, we need obsidian. Unfortunately for me, I don't think we have any. Yeah, we have exactly zero obsidian. We do have some lapis though. Enchanting break. Hold on. Hey, that's pretty good. Look, Lucy. Shiny new sword. Only thing to do now is to locate some obsidian. Um, might have to go a little deeper for that though. Luckily, I've created a very obvious entrance to the caves. Yeah, can't miss that. Perfect. Look, there's obsidian down there. I just have to... Oop. Yep. All right. Easy does it. Nailed it. And now we mine. Oop. Okay. My bad. That's on me. And now we mine. I'm not sure exactly how big I want this nether portal to be, but I really like it when nether portals are bigger than the default. So I think I'm going to collect lots of extra obsidian. I think I'm going to go for a nice round half a stack of obsidian. So one more should do it. There we go. Now I just got to uh, climb back up. Now I suppose it's just time to choose a location. And I really like the idea of our entrance to the nether being sort of a straight line from this gateway here. I'm going to have this be a big epic gateway. So when you walk straight through, you'll hit the nether portal. So all I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna mark out a straight line. Yeah, I'm away, peonies. Coming through, Yep, plow right on through here, round the birch tree. Then I wanna find roughly the middle of our grove. Is this the middle? Really hard to tell what the middle would be. Uh, this is probably close enough to the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect, does it? We'll call that the middle. And now all I've got to do is a little deforesting, which goes against the whole idea of a grove, but I promise I'll replace it eventually, later. Hello, are you overseeing construction? That's fantastic. Did Dandy send you? Good, good. I don't think I'm going to be running out of wood anytime soon. I have, I have a lot. Might as well collect some leaves while I'm at it. Why not? That looks like a great spot for another portal. Look at it right there in the center. I kind of like it. And it gives us lots of room still over there and on the sides for other activities. Now the only thing left to do is to build it. Unfortunately though, this terrain's a little low. And if I'm going to build something for interdimensional travel, I think it ought to be epic and higher up. Luckily, I have lots of dirt saved from my bee garden project. I'm just going to go ahead and raise a little hump of terrain right here for it. Oh, excuse you. Hello. What you doing? Mission accomplished. The portal shall go right here, right perfectly in line with the pathway. I'm not sure exactly how big I'd like to make it, but I know that I want it to be quite large. I think maybe this height? I hope I'm right. <laughs> um, like so. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. That is a really big portal. I like it. This birch tree's gotta go though. There we go. Now that the larger than usual epic portal is in place, I suppose we ought to decorate it. And I kind of had this idea, right? Of this being the sort of life force of the entire grove. It's the centerpiece. So what if we made our very own portal tree in survival mode? I've built these in creative before, but I thought having one in a survival world would be really cool. So I'm going to try my best to have the wooden logs and roots of the tree sort of shape all around the portal, if I can. So to start the process, I'm just going to build it up in a really big sort of off-center cylinder. 
It'll be a little weird looking to start, but it should get the point across. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really good. Now, all I have to do is use the rest of the wood that's left to shape out some roots down here, and it should look like a really big trunk. I'm going to try to make the entrance to the portal look fairly natural, maybe eventually with some like amethyst or something leaking out of it from the nether dimension. This process is genuinely so much fun. I'm just trying to roughen up the top here a little bit, and then I think maybe we'll go in with some oak wood just for the center bit and this bit will be temporary for now just to give me something to build off of as a little platform honestly i think i really like that i think that it suits our theme super well now for the moment of truth ah <sighs> yep that looks pretty cool i like it with any luck maybe one day this magical little stump will grow into a giant tree I'm really excited for this prospect because I enjoy giant trees and I think it would look great down here in the grove. Very grove-like. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think an adventure awaits us. Eh, uh, I think I'd better prepare. It's honestly been a while since I've been to the nether this early in the game, so I'd better make sure that I'm well prepared. One of the things that I know I'm gonna need is definitely a helmet. A nice golden one should do. There we go. Lucy! We're matching! Yeah, I don't have that great of a bow and I don't really have levels to enchant a better one. So I think we're just gonna have to go with power two. Dandy, listen, I'm going on a little adventure, okay? You're in charge. Uh, don't let these bees get up to any funny business, okay? I'll be right back, I promise. You know what? I'll set my spawn right here, just in case. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa, <laughs> loading terrain, oh my. Oh, it's horrible. I'm realizing in this moment that I forgot to bring cobblestone. I'll be right back. Hold on. Adventure can wait. Okay, take two. It, pretend that first one didn't happen. Okay, quick little cover up of the lava situation. As soon as I spawn into the nether, I like to quickly make myself a little box just to give myself a safety barrier from any potential ghasts or anything else that could cause trouble. We are also conveniently perched right on the edge of a cliff. Good, good. There we go. It's another spawn. It'll do. To be honest, I think I ought to bridge myself very safely over here to this nether waste biome. I like the look of deltas. I don't like my chances of surviving the delta. And we just do a neat little staircase so that I can run away if I need to. There's so many things to see in here. We can get quartz. Whoa, look at that right there. That's a bastion. I... <laughs> what am I gonna do with a bastion? Uh, I mean, you know, to be honest, I think I'm not gonna mess with the tiny bastion. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is it so tiny? I mean, I gotta see what's in those chests, right? I gotta. Oh my goodness. I think I can draw the brutes. Oh, yeah, hello. Because <laughs> if I don't attack the brutes then uh, the piglins won't get mad. Come on. Come on, I've got a nice little chair for you. You look so good sitting in that, don't even worry. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Can't have them see you open a chest or they'll get angry. So the trick with that is to simply hide. Because if they don't see you do it, then it's like you never did it. Got it. Whoa, this has so much in it. Look, golden carrots, gold, ancient debris, a silk touch axe. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. that. That was quite good, I think. One more chest right here, so just same thing. A little hidey hole right here. And oh, this one has a banner pattern, snout. Do you know, I don't think I've ever used that, so I'm really excited to see what that looks like. A block of iron? Jays, one quick trip to the nether and we're already gonna be rich. I didn't even really leave my portal. <laughs> Since I haven't really gone anywhere yet and my inventory is already looking very full, I think I'm gonna go ahead and place a chest here and just put some of these items in here. Still not seeing any of the things that I actually came in here for though, which is a little sad. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Sorry, uh, <laughs> just had to do that really quick. Hey look, we got a gas tier. Perfect. 
Now this is what I came in here for. Crimson wood. Uh, mind the gap. Hello, child. Run in fear. That's correct. This wood color is something I've really been enjoying building with lately. So I think I'm going to try to grab a ton of it. I feel like this stuff will just be absolutely magical in the grove. Look at the mushrooms as well. This goes with my theme super well. Hello, Enderman. Whoa, look at the striders. Aw, they're so cute. The soul sand valley. Definitely want to grab some soul sand. Oh, and some bone block. Hello. You know I should probably use silk touch for this, but I can't resist a little bit of glowstone. I'll just take a little. <gasps> oh, hello. I just threw my pickaxe at you. That was probably not very useful, huh? Can you help me? Yeah, thank you. It will work together. It's okay. It's all right. Well, or thank you. <laughs> Good. Good. That went well. I wasn't scared. I didn't panic for my pickaxe. No. Never. I'm a professional PvPer. I promise. And on that note, I decided it was finally time to leave the nether. Honestly, for what was effectively a 10 minute nether trip, I feel like we did pretty good. Look, we've got all of these lovely mushrooms now to place around to add some color to the place, along with some crimson roots. Got access to new building blocks and we got a new banner pattern. And I have no idea what this looks like, so I kind of want to try it. So all we need to text this out is six wool and a stick and then some dye. Let's get some orange dye. If we put that there, that there, and that there, ooh, it's literally a snout. You know what, it seems pretty obvious now that I've seen it that it would be a snout, but that's pretty cool. Uh, this banner doesn't look particularly good, but I bet we can make something really cool out of this because it'll never get used up. Do you know what? That gives me a great idea for the grove. What if we had a whole animal area? And the snout pattern could be our banner, like with Dandy's banner here for the gardens. That would be a wonderful idea, I think. We could have like a different banner for every district. And this donkey could be the leader, hello. This donkey was born here in the grove, so I think it's important that we make them a home. The only problem is, I don't have a saddle, so uh, they don't like me very much. You're gonna like me even less in just a second. Thank you. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. It's for your own safety. We have a new mission, everyone. Oh, hello, hello, sorry. Lucy, you're meant to be guarding the place, Lucy. Yeah, it's all right, it's not your fault. Our new mission, Lucy, is to find our lovely donkey a saddle. I've been in mine shafts, I've been to the nether, I've been so many places, and so far I've not stumbled across a single saddle. It's okay though, there's lots of this world that I haven't explored yet, so it's time for another adventure. First though, I think we ought to feed the cows and get some food. All right, I've got my steak and potatoes, and I think I'm ready for an adventure. So I want to hit brand new terrain that I've never seen before. However, I've already explored that way. That's where we found the jungle and got Lucy. So this time I'm gonna go the opposite way. We're gonna go straight west. I've traveled out this way a little bit before, but not as far as the other way. So I'm hoping that maybe there'll be a desert. I was on the search for a desert because deserts have desert temples and desert temples have a 23.5% chance of spawning a saddle. I decided to go for a desert temple because they're generally pretty easy to stumble upon and find. So I thought that it would be a fun mini adventure. Oh, this world is just lovely with its rolling hills. I love this. I'm currently in real life sitting with a cup of tea and a couple of Christmas cookies that my grandma gave me. The new year just started and this is such a vibe. Honestly, very happy to just chill like this for a very long time. Nothing quite like the relaxing Minecraft vibes. I feel like I see a lot on social media of people setting a lot of goals for the new year and I think that's amazing, but to be honest, I don't really personally have any. I kind of just want to vibe and play Minecraft. This will be the first year of my life that I officially have no school. So I'm happy to just chill. I'd like to work at my work, maintain my health and maintain my friendships and play lots of Minecraft. I hope that your 2022 is going okay so far. Okay, so here's the game plan. I'm gonna stick in this ocean, but I'm gonna stay along the shore so that I can make sure that I see if there's anything on the shore for me to look at. With any luck, hopefully off in the distance, we'll see a desert or something that we can loot. Like that, for example. Hello, is anybody home? Oh, you have a trident. You gotta go. You gotta go fast. Whoa. Whoa! I got it! 
I got the trident! What? I need nothing else from you, thank you. I've gotten what I need. This has literally never happened to me before. What? What do I do with a trident? I, there's so many options, but it definitely needs mending. We, we have to keep it very safe until we get mending. That's genuinely just made me so happy. I don't think I've ever had a trident in any of my Minecraft worlds. We're getting so lucky today. I knew the new year was gonna be good. Actually, I didn't I didn't know that, but uh, you know, I hoped for it and, and it's off to a good start in Minecraft. Hey, there's a shipwreck. Let's go loot it. Hello, anybody home? Ooh, okay, thank you. Don't mind if I do. And a buried treasure map. I don't think saddles can spawn in those, but it's worth a look anyways. Seems like we're right next to it anyways. I'm a fantastic pirate. I know. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm fine. Okay. Nailed it. Okay, what do we got? Hmm. Not bad. No saddle though. Is that a desert? I feel like it's just a beach. Yeah, can confirm. Just a really giant beach. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Hey, look! Another temple! We'll have to keep in mind the locations of those. So far, no luck. Just more jungle. And a really big beach. Which is honestly kind of a tease at this point. I'm sick of seeing beaches. I'm looking for a desert. Oh, hey! Oh, that's a savanna! That's kind of the right idea! Since I'm along the shore here, I'll just tuck in past the savanna and see if there's anything back here. I think we're on the right track. I'm just gonna tuck in around here and see if there's anything else to see inland. I see a cave. I got. I gotta go inside the cave. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's so magical. This would be such a good place for a pirate's den. I don't have time to get distracted though. I'm on a mission. You can't. Oh. Despite the roaring storm overhead, I persevered, traveling all through the night in my little rowboat, searching frantically for a desert. However, no desert was in sight, and that's when things got a little weird. Uh, I think I just found a mansion. Skeletons? Is that a mansion? Hello? I'm having the weirdest day in Minecraft ever. Nobody's ever gonna believe me if they say that I went to find a saddle and I ended up with a trident and a woodland mansion. They're never gonna believe me. This is the prettiest place for a mansion ever though. Whoa, right next to shore? Hold on, I do a sleep. Mm-hmm, thank you. Look at that mansion. I think I just need to sit here for a moment and process this trip. Yep, yeah, okay, I've processed it. Another shipwreck as well. I mean, since we're here, we may as well look. Iron. So, we should totally go in there, right? We should explore it? Oh gosh, okay. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. We're gonna set our spawn right here, and I'll put my valuables in here. Uh, yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's explore the mansion. Jeez. I didn't even think it was possible to find one of these without a map. Hello? Is anybody home? Hey, I, I think we'll go this way. Hello? You've got beautiful flowers. And if I do... Oh! And you're gardening! This is so cool. Look at the furniture in here. We could totally set up a home away from home in here. This is awesome. Oh, okay. We've got whatever this room is. Oh, there's a chest. Name tags! Yes! Golden apple. Okay, we have to keep an eye out for stuff like that. That's very good. This appears to be their storage room. But it seems like they don't store much. Why would you have a storage room if you don't own anything? What's this? Why is there just a giant pile of wool? Oh, uh, hello. Sorry to intrude. Hi, <laughs> yeah, you have really nice eyebrows. Yeah, mm-hmm. And another storage room. Oh, hey, uh, I'm on fire. This is not a good time. Sorry, sorry, thank you. Once again, a whole lot of nothing being stored. But they've got a great sense of decoration. Not sure I like the look of this particular room. Hello? Is this a dungeon? Maybe these guys are the bad guys. What's this? Oh, okay. I think that's a warning, but I don't understand it, so uh, I'm gonna ignore it. Is me. Yep, thank you. Oh, and they have a pumpkin room and a melon room. That's so nice of them. They sure do talk a lot. Honestly, I feel like I'm doing them a favor cleaning up all their farms and stuff. Wonder who lives upstairs. Hello? 
Oh, the ceilings are beautiful. The structure is genuinely so cool. Looking out over the ocean, the big windows, every room being furnished, having red carpet going through it. It's so interesting. I wish more things like this existed within Minecraft. Oh, look at this, the little reading nook. Oh, I would love to read here. And another, oh my gosh. There's a staircase here and somebody's face on the wall. You know, whoever owns this house, really big ego. Extremely. I do enjoy how the top floor is literally just a meeting room, though. That's quite cool. Oh! Hey! Hey! How did you find me? <gasps> okay, I deserved that one. I deserved it. Yeah, it's fair. I have had a little too much luck for one person, and that was a valid death. I will have my redemption, though. Do you think it was because I insulted their egos? I think that's what got them. Hey! Perfect. Man! I almost lived that. The rest of them died to fire damage. Oh, there is a secret room, but there's nothing in it. This is behind that head. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is probably not good, right? Probably not good. Probably not good at all. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's the angry fairies. Oh, my god. I don't like the angry fairies. The angry fairies are very bad. Golden apple, and we fight. No, 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 thank you, angry fairies. I'm good, thanks, thanks, yep, okay, I'm all right. I'm okay, thank you. Need any angry fairies in my life? Oh. Turns out they can chase you really far. Please go away, please, please have mercy, fairy. Oh my gosh. I'm having a really weird day, zombie. Now's not the time. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I didn't panic. I did find a chicken room, though. Is there anything inside the chicken? Is that a weird thing to ask? It appears there's nothing inside. It's okay. All right. Cool. Hello? Oh, this is your library. Oh, it's a beautiful library. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of books, actually. Oh, hey, this is where I killed those guys. Totems of undying. Oh, that's gonna be so good. No more dying for me. Nope. I appreciate the vindicator's love for birch. They seem to have it everywhere. I can hear spiders and I can so remember there being secret rooms in places like this, but I just can't think of where to look to find a secret. So, bad news, still no saddle. Good news though, Mansion was epic. I think I'd actually love to come back here at some point and maybe transform it as like a second base. I've never found one in survival before, much less find one in survival without using a map. So that feels pretty epic, honestly. I feel good. And we got name tags, which means I can name the donkey. I think I got most of the important stuff. Leave the rest here. Oh, and I need the bed, I need the bed. This is somehow simultaneously the luckiest I've ever been and the unluckiest. I, I don't have a saddle. Still, and there's literally no sign of one anywhere. I feel like we ought to bring our loot home and try the opposite direction. Cause I remember there was a savanna over by the jungle on the other side. Maybe if we went a little further, we'd find a desert. Oh, and here's some coordinates that are, you know, roughly in the right area. That was really cool to find. I can definitely pretty easily come back there because it's only like 2000 blocks out from my house. After dropping off my stuff at home and having a quick pep talk with Lucy, I decided it was time to head out again. After all, I was not going to let a mere saddle defeat me. Oh no. Whoa, look at that. This is good to know. I hadn't found one of these yet. Look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. I hadn't seen one of these in the new generation yet. Uh, how is it possible that I'm finding absolutely everything except a desert temple? Although, I suppose this does count as a desert. It's just the world's smallest desert. Uh, maybe that's why. And, after a lot of work, I'm finally stepping foot in a desert. Oh, look, it's a coral reef as well. This is definitely the coolest mesa I've ever seen. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'll grab some cactus so that I have green dye. Perfect. Ouch. Oh. Oh, look at that. Our very first desert temple. Thank goodness. I won't lie, I was getting a little worried. We were never gonna see one. Oh, there's two. Oh, thank goodness, whoa. Oh, oh, that doesn't set off the pressure plate, right? Uh, okay, oh, please give me a saddle. And uh, no saddle. Saddle, uh, horse armor. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think a donkey can wear horse armor. Saddle, oh, 
<gasps> saddle. Yes. Oh, that's officially the hardest I've ever worked for a saddle, but I got it. The glorious saddle is mine. Okay, now that my mission is accomplished and I can relax, let's go check on the other desert temple while we're out here. Not bad. So far, this one has a lot more riches. Whoa, golden horse armor. Ah, the sun is setting. I've completed my mission. Let's go home. Here we are. Home sweet home. Oh, look at how you can see the portal straight through there. Oh, I like that. Grove welcomes us. Dandy? Oh, Dandy. You'll never believe the day that I had. It was a lot. I'd like to relax with you and the bees for a little while. First, I need to go see our new donkey. Oh, it appears we have more than one new friend. I'll speak with you in the morning. Hello. Welcome to the grove. You have nothing of interest to me. You do have leads, though. And boy, are they tempting. Oh, I suppose it's that time of the episode where we finally get to give our animals a name. And I've decided on a perfect name for a donkey. Lucy, you go first, of course. There you are. Hello. Could you love me, please? Thank you. Wonderful. I'm glad we had this talk. Everyone, I would like you to meet the grove's brand new official donkey. This is Darlene. Darlene the Grove's donkey. Come on, Darlene. Oh, hey, you know what? You're actually, you're not a bad speed. Darlene, I think we'll get along just nicely. This is the perfect speed to ride around the Grove in. There's much to see, Darlene. Dandy, we've made a new friend. Dandy's a little busy, Darlene, sorry. Uh, he's like that, it's fine. You and I are going to be fantastic friends. But for now, you're gonna have to stay here. It's been a really weird day in Minecraft. Didn't you say, Darlene? I built a nether portal, and then I found a bastion, and then I wanted to go get a saddle because I found a cool banner. And when I was going to get a saddle, I got a trident and a woodland mansion, and then still no saddle. Then when I went to finally get a saddle, I found a mesa. What a day! Honestly! For now, though, everyone, I do hope you've enjoyed your time with me here today, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone!